hey, guess what? Fall's coming. So now is an excellent reason to talk about chemistry. Or better yet, chemistries. Ha ha ha. What? If you ever wonder why leaves change in the west. If you ever wonder why leaves change colors in the fall. This is the video you've been looking for. A deciduous tree is a tree that drops its leaves every autumn and develops new leaves each spring. Each year, deciduous trees go through this process. Wait, what's a deciduous tree? It's a type of tree that loses leaves. Oh, did you know that? Yes. Well, I knew you did. <laughs> I'm not going to say you did. Now you do. <laughs> Their leaves become bright yellow, gold, orange, and red for a few weeks before becoming brown and dropping to the ground. When tree leaves change from green to reds, oranges, yellows, and browns, we're witnessing the tree's green chlorophyll fading away, exposing hidden fall time pigments. Wow! A tree's sunlight exposure plus stored sugars also get credit for creating more dazzling and spectacular fall colors. You see, for plants to grow, they require sunlight, nutrients, plus water. The nutrients and water come from the soil, and the sunlight is caught by the leaves. Chlorophyll transforms sunlight into food which the trees need to grow through a process named photosynthesis. And photosynthesis is the process trees and plants use to make their food. The food they make is sugar, which they use to grow new leaves, flowers, including their seeds. Taking energy from the sun and water from the ground, as well as carbon dioxide from the air, Trees produce glucose or sugar, 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 and they eat this. This way they can grow into strong, healthy trees. Wait, does that mean we can have sugar to get strong? I don't think so. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, sugar is better for plants, Gus, not necessarily for humans and whatever you are. But did you know that in the summer, Plants perform lots of photosynthesis because they get a lot of light and because it's warm outside. To catch the sunlight, the leaves use a chemical called chlorophyll. 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 She got it! Chlorophyll is what makes leaves green. And as the plant breaks down the chlorophyll, the green color fades from their leaves. What is left behind are other chemicals, which you normally do not see. The most important of these chemicals are called carotenoids. Hmm, carotenoids. That sounds like something, doesn't it? Yeah, like, what's up, Doc? Huh? Never what? mind, you'll see. What's up, Doc? Carotenoids produce bright yellows and oranges in common fruits and vegetables, like... Corn, carrots, and Ouch. bananas are just some of the various plants colored by carotenoids. Carrots! Ha! Ah, you should have told me about, like, what's up, Doc? What? <sighs> Anthocyanins add the color red to plants. These include cranberries. <laughs> These include cranberries, red apples, cherries, strawberries, and also many others. So, depending on which of these chemicals are in the leaf, this is how they will turn different shades of yellow, orange, and even red. These chemicals don't have any nutrients in them, so the tree does not try to even break them down. It just leaves them in the leaves. <laughs> like we learned before, leaves use their food or glucose that has been stored away 
in a layer of cells that grow at the base of each leaf. These cells are spongy like a cork. Cork! Like a cork! Cork! cork. She, she got it! Cork! This sounds like your sister's name on Roblox. And these cork-like cells have a function, and that function is to act as a door between the leaf and the rest of the tree. This door closes very slow and doesn't shut until all the leaf's food is finished. And while this starts to happen, the color in the leaves begins to show through. Remember, these different colors are always there, but they can't be seen in the summer because of all the green chlorophyll in the leaves. As the seasons change in places where deciduous trees grow, especially fall and winter, things are a lot less comfortable for trees and plants. The days get shorter and shorter, and it gets colder. And there is also less sunshine. When it gets really cold and freezes, the leaves on the trees can get damaged. Remember, trees use nutrients to make chlorophyll, so they don't want to lose them when the leaves start to freeze. So instead, they break down the chlorophyll to get the nutrients out. Then they put them in their roots, which are protected from the cold during the winter. Once all the chlorophyll is used up and sent to the roots, the leaf dies. dries out, the leaf starts to look brown and then crispy, like a potato chip kinda. And at this time, that's when it falls off the tree. So, as long as the leaves are able to soak up enough heat and energy from the sun and can still make food, the leaves on the tree will stay green. That's why when it gets darker outside earlier, and colder in the fall, the leaves start to change colors. And then in the spring, when the days get longer and the weather starts to get nice and warm, the tree uses the nutrients and food that it's stored in its roots and produces new leaves again. As the leaves grow, they become ready for summer, when it can do lots of photosynthesis all over again. Hey, guess what? Now you know how and why leaves go from green to a bunch of different colors every single autumn. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.